I challenge you, Chris Webber, Shaq, and Chuck to a race. 100-yard dash. I accept! The stage has been set. Verbal jabs. Not only is he duck-footed, uh, not me. See, I'm above all of that. Time out! Oh. Intense training. He fouled! He fouled! And calculated odds. Kenny, this is your race to lose. My sea biscuit is Charles Barkley. EJ takes it all. I just hope they finish. One hamstring pull. At least. TNT's studio crew has a knack for compelling competition, but nothing compares to the scale of this event. The winner will earn more than just victory. His achievement will resonate long after the race is finished. It's the NBA on TNT. And it's inside the NBA presented by Ooh. Kia. Coming your way uh, live from Studio J. Could have used one of them today. In Atlanta. What a gun. A Kia. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, the race. <laughs> the race will be shown during this uh, fine show telecast it now, here. Man. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to show it. Please. Right yeah, show it right All Please. I'm saying is, I'm like now. Ali after a fight. I still can run. I can still jump. Uh, I can still, I'm like Ali after a fight, man. That's uh, all I'm saying. Anyway, um, <laughs> oh, we've, we've been, do we've been doing a very good job all night long of not giving away the results. So, so hang with us. Hang with us for just a few more minutes. Let's, uh, let's jump into the highlights of this one. Uh, the Rockets and the Portland Trailblazers, who came in with the best record in the West, 18-4. and four. Uh, Kelvin Sampson filling in for Kevin McHale. Uh, Kevin lost his mom this week. Our hearts go out oh. to oh, our, yeah. buddy, our yes, buddy Kevin McHale. And uh, in, when this game started, LaMarcus Aldridge uh, was really struggling. Well, you know what? It's okay. Sometimes in life you struggle, you have difficulties, but you have to put your head down, your blinders yeah. on, and run through the tape okay. in life. That's basically what has to happen. He did that. He played hard all night. Yeah. Well, not complaining. Yeah, no, no question. Two hours, yeah. not celebrating too early. Dwight He's Howard, finish a play, and he part, of a, hands part of a 12-3 Houston <laughs> run. <laughs> and Howard again with the pump hands, fake. Howard. I think he saw that segment Chuck and those guys did a couple weeks ago that I saw when they were talking about getting that deep post position. He that's what he did tonight. all night. He had a double-double in the first half of the third straight game. And then... Well, LaMarcus Aldridge starts picking it up and here. You know what happened here? It looked like a Howard false start. Parsons they thought the fast other. break was starting. Kenny, you yeah. the help. Uh, it was a false what, start. It was a false start. So no, I mean, no, they're making excuses, basically. They didn't finish the play. Yeah, that's right. They didn't finish the play. They have to run through the tape. Run through the tape. Offensive rebound. They didn't finish the Run through the tape. Aldridge. Start that fast break too early. Aldridge on his way to becoming the only player in Blazer history with four 30-20 games. Wow. Over Sabonis? Wow. Over the Bill only Blazer Walton? in Portland history with four career 30-20 wow. games. You know That's why? Crazy. You know why? Because he runs through the tape. That's yeah. right. You know, you know why? Because him, but he runs I tell the you, that these guys are great athletes and they don't get hurt. You're getting to No, you can't get hurt in life. You are. That's a good one. But true winners get coming hurt. dangerously <laughs> close to giving away the outcome uh, of the race. I gotta blow my leg out and run through the tape. You're in the uh, blazer highlight. Are you committed? That's right. That's That'd right. be That's Darrell Wright exactly right, right there, wouldn't it? Exactly what I said. Only cool cats don't get hurt. No, no doubt. No, you know, it's a doubt. ten point game after it being tied going to the fourth way quarter. Way to reach your hands. Way yeah. to reach. Yeah, way to reach. Way to reach with your hands on that line. Howard had up. thirty-two and seventeen on the night. Did he pull two hamstrings on that play? <laughs> 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 that was a heck of a move. Uh, <laughs> Chandler <laughs> Parsons for three. <laughs> Kenny, oh, 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 good move. Kenny, wait. Oh, I thought nobody wanted yeah. to take the charge. Yeah, taking James, the charge is like running yeah, through the James tape. And one, 97 95, two point oh, game. Wesley oh, Matthews good with good the answer. You like yeah. the way he reached with his hands yeah. on that jumper? Uh, 99. Whoa! Oh, okay. <laughs> Did, what? Did they actually start this game before the, before 7 30? No, I started at 7 30. Okay, 7, right all right, all right. I'll just check it. <laughs> 102. 
<laughs> the 90s again. Oh, that's not a goal, Tim. Yeah, they oh, go. Yes, oh, the why don't use your hands like that. Yes, you're not unless allowed you're, to. Unless you're running through the tape. Yeah, no, you know, you're not allowed to. Yeah, LaMarcus well, Aldridge, 31 points. <laughs> 25 rebounds. Wow. That is the wow. second highest rebound Ooh. total in the league this year. Dwight Howard had 26 one night, but Aldridge uh, just going is crazy he tonight. Yeah, he's a, yeah. Is he MVP about candidate right now? Yes. Yeah. Right now he is. is he the MVP of the first quarter of the season? No, that no. would be Paul George. Yes, I agree. Okay. Yeah. Right. I agree. Paul George is MVP. Ernie, for interesting fact: Portland is 17 and 0 when leading or tied. Oh, no man, ah, that's so if they call. can maintain that throughout the year, I think they can maintain. Well, you know, like spot. you know, David, uh, ask him what I said. What I said was well, they're 29th in points in the paint in, in the NBA, and I, I, I like I said, I worry about their bench, but I don't know if you can keep winning. I mean, they're gonna have a good successful season, but I'm Miami trying to go. did it twice, Chuck. Well, they had LeBron James. And they got Aldrich. He's he, not LeBron James. But look, he 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 doing something. He's the no, only no, player. No, no, no. He was awesome. Yeah, but I, yeah, you're third. right. Come on, man. Talk Especially listen, though, listen, their, their man, starters animal. are number two in the NBA with 82 points a game. And to Chuck's point, if they're shooting threes or they're not getting in the paint, and their starters are doing this, if yeah. one guy gets hurt, if yeah. the load is out, hey, it's going to be in trouble. I mean, they're 29th in points in the paint, and they're 27th on fast break points. So that tells me they've got to speed up the tempo. They shouldn't be 27 with, with the players they got, but they play a lot of half-court basketball. Like I say, I, I, this ain't a, a new criticism of the Blazers. I said the same thing about all jump shooting teams. Well, I, I think that the only thing that they're lacking is experience. The, the fact that they haven't been in the playoffs and they haven't had deep runs and know how to play together. I, experience. But, you know, like I said, you have 82 points a game. That, 83 basically points a game, Chris. You can win basketball games if your starters have 83 points. You can win. That, that's enough to win in the NBA. So that team with Wesley Matthews, Batoon, Lillard, those three guys along with Brooke Lopez, I mean, with Lopez and um, in the Aldridge, playoffs, man, Kenny, you I, don't think when, like in the playoffs, if when they had happened, experience, I would say they could win it. But see, that's a big if. And if you had somebody have off, off their bench that could come in, Mo Williams probably is the best off their bench. But 82 points a game, you know, that's great to be number that's two in the lot. NBA. That's and they can't do it all year. Guarantee you that number won't be number two all you year. You don't think those five guys could do that? Right no. now, we only played 20 games. Okay, but we got okay, 60 more games. Wait those... till they go on a 10 game East Coast trip. Wait I just till... have a question. Uh -huh. Okay, which of the five guys will not be able to keep carrying their load? Uh, I, I don't want to put it on any specific guy, but let me say this. All I would count on are the two All-Stars, is Damian Lillard and Aldridge, because they're the only oh, ones wow. that have shown well, that. Can they beat the Spurs right Throughout now? their whole career. Can okay. they beat the Spurs? Right now. I don't, I don't think they can beat the Spurs. Can because they beat I, OKC I, I, right now? No, nobody in the West can beat OKC. Wow. You think oh, they're the best team in the West? OKC is the best team in the West. Wow. Well, I got to tell you something. Uh, I'm going to call you out uh -oh. now. You says what, what they go out when they go on a 10-game East Coast swing? Yeah. Unless they play Miami and Indiana, they're going to go 10-0. That's true. That's true. Maybe 10 West Coast. Uh, 111-104, the final, the Portland Trailblazers. Way to catch that with you. That's true. Yeah. Winners tonight, they are now 19-4. and four. And uh, the All-Star ballots uh, are out, and the first returns are in. And uh, in see, the Western man. Conference, see, you see Cole, come on, the man. front court uh, led by uh, Kevin Durant and D. Howard and Blake Griffin, come Kobe on, and Chris Paul. Yeah, that's why the fans shouldn't vote. Leading, Reach for your cell phone and use your hands. hands. Come on, yes. Okay, who, who, you, who, who was missing off that list? Well, listen, Kobe Bryant can't make the All-Star team. I love Kobe Bryant. Okay, but who's missing? It. Well, Steph Curry might uh, be in Steph there. Steph Curry. Clay Thompson's playing great, too. James Harden. What about James. LaMarcus Aldridge? Montel. Yeah, LaMarcus Aldridge. Montel. Westbrook. Westbrook. Uh, Westbrook. Westbrook. No Westbrook. question. Uh, listen, uh, if, with that 19 and 4, LaMarcus Aldridge is not starting the All-Star game. I mean, we got a long way to go, but he should be there already. Okay. Let's, listen, I love Kobe, but he can't make the All-Star team. Let's go to the Eastern I mean, Conference. He might come to Mike D'Antoni. they better without him. And the... Uh, <laughs> The front court with LeBron James, Paul George, Carmelo Anthony. LeBron, the leading vote getter. Oh my God! Can we a get little, a center on the team? A little under 2,000 over Kevin Durant. Come on. And uh, I, I have a feeling I know what that's all about, Charles. Yeah, man, we need a center on the team. D Wade and uh, Kyrie man. Irving. Bottom, we out, no. baby. What? What are you looking at? I'm looking at Carmelo Anthony. Ooh. Third, Ooh. third among the front court. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Come How on, man. Way to reach through the table Ooh. on that. Well, you know, I think, you know, you look at the Eastern Conference, it's, it's difficult. 
Because I, I think there's, we said we're only 20 games in. There's probably six players or seven players that could say they could be on the all-star team that we'll, we won't even think about because they'll start coming to earth, the teams, and then all of a sudden the teams. <laughs> Wait, listen. No, the, I mean, I'm sorry. They already yeah, on yeah, earth. Yeah. Well, they be they almost to China. Yeah, they're in China. Some of these teams <laughs> in the Eastern Conference, they, they even low earth, man. I mean. Oh, come on, man. It's Eastern there's Conference. There's got to be somebody. I mean, eventually they're going to start playing each other. So somebody has to start winning. Yeah. Oh man, that Eastern Conference team, they they below, they already on the ground. I'm told you. Yeah, man, look at that. I think if we had us, us five, the way we ran today, oh, yeah. we'd, no, we'd win seven games in the East. Half court, really definitely. You know what, Ernie? We'd be the AC. <laughs> the way we ran today. I agree. Hey, let me tell you so, something. I scouted that Miami. <laughs> All I have to do is bring it up. That was a very good basketball game. That's going to be a great series. But Indiana got one problem. They still turn the ball over too much. Even they won that game, they turned the ball over 20 times. They got to clean that up if they're going to beat the Heat. That was the most watched game in NBA TV history. Wasn't Ernie, it? let me tell you yes, something. Right. Ernie, do you have any idea how big your forehead is on a big HD TV? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's got some space. I'm telling you, space. Ernie. We, got, we, we, get, put, sir. we rent. We rent this out. You could advertisers could put whatever they want up there. We've we've offered. See, we've we should do Samsung before. Galaxy yeah, and right. put the gear down too. You don't have behind you. You don't have dreams. You have movies. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Now that's that's good. Uh, oh, Charlie Brown. Oh, 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 Charlie Brown Christmas. I made some field goals today. Nice good technique. Good technique. Oh good my goodness. Yeah. Refrigerator Chuck, Chuck you Perry. Were, you were. Um, <laughs> you were very. Um, <laughs> today you were very. Um, Inside the NBA, brought to you by the redesigned Kia Optima, official vehicle of the NBA. All right, everyone, I'm Reggie Miller. This is Nate Robinson. As you can see, we're in front of a ping pong table. For the challenge, we are gonna play a best of three. Best of three. Best of three, alternating sides. The best man uh, wins. I, I heard Nate's really, really good. I'm going to have my hands I'm full. I'm okay. I'm okay. So we're going to go at it. Any other words of uh, wisdom, parting words? Uh, uh, uh. Showdown. Okay. Oh, I want to watch that. Uh, okay. I hear Reggie is uh, darn near unbeatable. I got, I'm just, I didn't know you put on, put on, I didn't know you put on stuff to play ping pong. <laughs> if you take it's it so seriously beautiful. like those two do, you can see it on uh, Inside Stuff. I want to challenge Reggie Saturday to a at ping pong match. To presented be presented by Samsung throws, Galaxy. Right. Starters, you can catch them every night, six o'clock, um, for their offbeat look. The, the full starters the or the starters? <laughs> oh, what? okay. The uh, starters. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Matt. Fan night Tuesday night. Fan night, baby. We got OKC in Denver this time. See, Webb, you, me, Greg Anthony. Uh, coverage beginning at 8.30. That's a good game. On NBA is a good game. TV. Hard to find them sometime, though, boy. What? Good games. Good games. Oh, true. On the East Coast, I just said. Oh, no, just yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> As we, uh, I'm before, glad it was be a snowstorm last Before night. I get into the Clipper uh, Brooklyn highlights, uh, yes, it's, a, it's an Auburn bow tie because <laughs> Thank I, you, did, beautiful, beautiful. I did lose uh, a bet to, uh, to Charles when Georgia lost to Auburn. And, I, and I said I would. What are you pointing to? Pasadena. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would wear this next time we are on the show Thank together. Thank you, Ernie. I appreciate but it. But Auburn has one loss. LSU, thank you very much. Okay, stop. Okay, uh, the ah, first time. Shut it up, Chuck. Sorry about that, Ernie. It's quite all right. <laughs> You're much bigger than I am. The, uh, the first time the Nets and Clippers played this season, Brooklyn was missing four starters, which meant that Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett would not play against their former coach in Boston, Doc Rivers. And with Darren Williams out, it also meant there would be no duel at the point between D. Will taking number three in the 2005 draft and Chris Paul taken right behind him that year. But Thursday night, all that stuff was in play as the Clippers and the Nets met in Brooklyn. And uh, there, Doc Rivers, a night after being in Boston, uh, now he sees a couple of his former Celtics in Brooklyn. He did not get the Ray Allen treatment. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, oh baby. Oh, oh. Uh, we got to play that off. 
<laughs> he will, yeah, would uh, I'd look him floor, would yeah, return. Yeah, let the, 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 the ball boy oh. slide. It's pretty nice by DeAndre Jordan there, Shaq. Like uh, Kenny said, big man with great athleticism, but they, it ain't all about dunks. They led by as many as 13 oh. in the first quarter, but then Brooklyn's, you know, finding its stride. They were down five after one. Oh, oh. easy steal. Uh oh Kick it, kick it. Mm. Leave, Tracy. Leave, leave it, but Tracy. I got Game tied at 31, Doc not loving that. It seems like the Clippers just can't continue to play with the discipline that Doc Rivers How has. You know it's a new system, but it just seems like, you know, they'll play tough defense one oh, night and the right next get right back to alley -oops. They don't that? The system. Yeah, right that that early ankle injury shaken off by D. Will. Mm. Oh. 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 Rainbow. Chris Paul. Remember that used to be called the rainbow and not the floater? Yeah. You old man. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. I'm back at you. Oh, oh rainbow. rainbow. Whoa. Right, let's bring that back. Rainbow, yeah, I like that. Rainbow. Oh, rainbow. Is it rainbow or teardrop? No, rainbow. Yeah, rainbow no, teardrop. teardrop. No, yeah. Yeah, rainbow before teardrop. Rainbow. What about the loft? Oh, the loft. 25 oh. point turnaround in oh. the first half. Oh, okay. From being down 13 Go to ahead, being Chuck. up 12. Don't and, you get ready to say, Chuck. And they take hey. another look at this hey, thing. Chuck. Can't let them hit you, man. You got to get somebody back, man. You can't let people hit you. They were going to call that a flagrant one, but I they didn't. I thought you were going to say Father Time gets us all. So. Yeah. Oh, Father Time gets us all, but or, you can't be letting people hit on him, well, you man. You can't live by the jump and die by no, the No, no. I'm not. Yep, out of the corner, Joe Johnson. And uh, Brooke Lopez. He, uh, double, good. Oh, good pass. Leave it, leave it. Oh, oh, no. Brooke's ankle bothering him. And, um, oh. Ooh. Eventually, he would have to leave with 16 and 7. Walking like Kenny. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I challenge you to. Oh, we did that. Mason Plumley <laughs> from uh, Andre Blatch. Blatch got uh -oh. everybody excited in oh. there. Huh? Yep. Who little down there? And especially. Oh, you can't go on me. This one right here. Guard him seven oh, oh. Too little. That thing's in the rafters. I'm get it. And the Nets are digging it. And they have, for the first time this season, three in a row. On three games uh -oh. in uh -oh. a row. Uh oh, about to get it cracking. Getting it cracking. Best team in New York. 102 to 93, Brooklyn over the Clips. <laughs> and they've won six in a row at That's home York, over man. the Clippers. Let's go to Brooklyn. To Craig Sager with <laughs> <the> Will. <laughs> Well, thanks, AJ. Throughout the month of November, we heard that the Nets were the most disappointing team in the league. They had a lot of injuries, but come December now, you've won three in a row. I'm with Darren Williams. You guys look like a totally different team now that you're healthy. Well, I mean, it helps. You know, we had a lot of guys out, you know, and, and so, you know, a lot of different lineups and, and couldn't get any consistency. So now we got a lot of guys back and, you know, uh, playing a little bit better. What's the learning curve, not only for Jason Kidd, but for you guys as players playing for him? Um, there's no learning curve. You know, he's been doing a great job all year. You know, like I said, the injuries hurt us, you know. There's no way around them. Um, you know, they hurt us and they've affected us and affected the way he's got to coach the game because, you know, he, he didn't have myself and Paul and Brooke out there for extended time. So that, that, that hurts him as a coach. You're one of the favorites on inside the NBA. Who do you think won that race today? I'm going to say C. Webb. He's the youngest, so he should win it. Yeah. Really? He should. He should. You're going with youth. Yeah, I'm going with youth. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Back to you, EJ. Yes, you had another tease for the race, which you will see uh, before it's all over here on Inside the NBA. So are the Nets on to something now, Chuck? Well, we said Darren Williams and Brooke Lopez have to play like all-stars. Uh, that's that's going to be the key. Uh, it, they got to both stay healthy. That's a no, man. Are they on to something? That's a no. Uh, Listen, they're the best team in one of the boroughs. <laughs> so let's hear it. Best team in New York. Let me hear it, C-Web. Let me hear it. Brooks. <laughs> what? Come on, you can't, you can't win chair three wins in a row. We're I, I, Brooklyn you know, at. I, I, we're you Brooklyn got to start somewhere. When no, you, when I, you, honestly, you know? I, you know, I, I think that, you know, this is a team that's going to be the third seed. I really still think that they're going to get back into a meeting third seed. I think their injuries, remember I kept saying, I'm going to give them a pass. 
And yes. you guys laughed. I was like, well, because I think their injuries was a big part. And, the, and Darren Williams, the guy who puts everyone in their right position, was there. The reason I didn't give the Knicks a pass is because I felt that their style of play was not conducive for winning. And so they had key members that could still produce a style of play that I thought that wasn't, wasn't there. And I they, Listen, huh? I was asked a couple of weeks ago <laughs> who's the third best team in the East was, and I still don't know to down. I think Brooklyn, if Darren and Brooke can stay healthy, they got a shot at being the third seed. I mean, <laughs> why are you laughing, man? I'm laughing at Ernie, man. No. <laughs> why are you I'm laughing, laughing at Ernie? At Ernie? <laughs> I was just wondering what that first series of noises was. But you couldn't get it out. You yeah, get it. But you know, it's all good. I know somebody's fixing to get hit. I know. No, but it's, it's going to be me. Because they got a couple things going for them. What's that? Uh, Milwaukee, <laughs> Atlanta, <laughs> Detroit, Orlando, <laughs> Orlando. <laughs> Actually, you know what? The uh, Washington Wizards, mm. they might be, if they can they get my man Bradley Beal back, they might be the third best team in the Eastern Conference. They're I, 9 and 11 right now. Uh, they, 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 you may be saying that because the Cleveland, voice no, no. of the Wizards, Steve no, Clark, no, no. is in the I told right you now. the Wizards, were my, they were definitely going yeah. to make the playoffs. Yeah. John Wall has played fantastic. You know, I'm a big Bradley Beal fan. Yeah. If Nene and Gortat can play big, they might be the third best team record wise uh, in the Eastern Conference. And over Cleveland? Cleveland? Cleveland, not any good. Yeah. I'm just checking. And just, <laughs> just checking. In just a few minutes, you're going you're to hear from John Wall, by the way, in just a few minutes. Hey, what? Because C. Webb talked about him. Tell me about the Clippers before, uh, before we split. Here they are, 15 and 9 now, uh, number four in the Western Conference. Where do you see them going? I see Doc Rivers trying to will his, his heart into them, and I don't see that happening as fast as maybe I, as it would like. I'd like to see everybody on that team have the, the, the lack of patience like a, a Chris Paul, it just seems like they don't play with a sense of urgency all the time, which certain teams with a chip on their shoulder, something to prove, do, and they don't have that to me. Um, Chris Paul tonight, 20 points, two assists. He's played 578 games. This is only the second time when he's played at least 25 minutes that he's had as few as two assists. And uh, they move on to Washington on Saturday. To take on the Wiz. Hey, check out David Aldridge's morning tip. Have you, you guys it. seen the morning tip? Yes, I, I, oh, yeah. I get it every morning. You what, Chuckster? <laughs> David Aldridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the David Aldridge look going on here. No, it's there. You go. That's how I do it. You 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 read that when you're on the treadmill. You'll be on the treadmill for a long time. And uh, and it's uh, and the chariots of backfire race is on the way too. But before yes. that, before that. Never been so excited to see old people run. Yeah. Oh, I just. I bet I could beat you, Idris. <laughs> Khan. Idris Khan. And uh, when we come back, John Wall paying a visit to uh, C Web. Must see TV next. Back to inside the NBA, I'm with my man John Wall. Here, what's up, John? What's up, man? How, How you doing? doing? I'm great. First of all, congratulations on this year. You're just playing so well. Uh, just, you know, last year, you know, you guys had an okay season, up and down injuries. Tell me, what did you do this season to really work on your game? Because we've seen such a great improvement. I think just study. You know what I mean, watching a lot of film and working on my jump shot. I think that was the biggest thing in changing pace. Uh, uh, making the game a lot easier for me on the basketball court, being able to knock down open shots when guys go on the screen. And uh, just changing pace on the open court and getting to the basket and uh, finding my teammates. You talk about that jump shot. The jump shot has improved so much. Did you have to improve that jump shot because of your speed and guys are trying to play off of you and they won't allow you to be your best with, without that jump shot? I think, yeah, my first three years I kind of struggled. You know, I, mean, I still got to the basket, but I was forcing my way there. I think now well, I'm, I'm forcing guys to go to the top of the screen, getting into the paint, making easier shots for my teammates, and getting to the basket a lot easier. 
I played in D.C. and uh, they had some of the craziest fans there, whether you win, lose, up, down. Now that you guys are winning, playing well, what are the fans like? Uh, they're great. They've always been our support system, even through the tough times in my first three years there. And that's one reason why I really wanted to stay in the city. You know, I, mean, I love D.C. My dad's from there and they got a great organization. Uh, we're just trying to change around, bring some more excitement back to the, the city. That's what's up, man. No, we don't, they're going to try to, you know, this NBA, you know, they're going to try to play me. You gotta, well, that's my boy, Juwan. No, we tried to do it back in the day, but you guys are taking it to a different level. And my man, Rod Strickland, back there passing the yes. ball, doing this thing. But you are the man right now, and we're going to talk about you and your game. Let's get you up here at the top of the key. But if I would have played with you, I might have had a couple more points, though, the way you be taking it to the <laughs> hole. So I used to love the pick and roll. Yeah. And uh, the best thing about a pick and roll, whether you have a guard like Rod Strickland, whether you have a guard like yourself, whether you have a guard like a Chris Paul, that if, you got, if you give a guy like you a little bit of space, everybody's in trouble. So yeah. let's walk kids at home and people at home through the pick and roll. What do you like best about the pick and roll? And kind of instruct me where you want me to go. Well, if you pick. come right here and set it right here, uh, the main thing is I want you to make the guard go over the top. Okay. You make the guard go over the top, I get to my sweet spot in the elbow where I can pull up. If you roll or if you're a big that can shoot the ball, you roll, you're making that weak side defender make a choice. If he come in and take you, I skip it to guys in my team that knock down corner threes. If not, I'm hitting you on the roll pass, and you either make a play, you either get an easy shot, or you find one of the guys in the corner. Now, I've noticed that uh, lately you've been hitting a little floater. Now, yeah. I know you've always gotten to the hole. You're a left-hand dunker, right-hand player. I don't understand that, but where would you get the floater from? Uh, just watching TP, yeah. Tony Park and Chris Paul and those guys, you know, you don't want to keep getting hit down there. You know what I mean? Those guys are big, and I don't want to keep taking those hits. So uh, that's just something I'm trying to work on and just try to add different things to my game every year. This is inside the NBA, man, and uh, why don't you show the kids just a little move they could work on at home. The ones that stand up, let's look this way, okay. right in the camera. The ones that stand up and should well, be in school. My, if I got an ISO, uh, I just try to lower guys to sleep because guys back up on my speed. So I throw it between my legs, and I just give them a quick crossover. Now I get to the basket, or I get to my pull All right, don't show no more. Don't show no more. <laughs> we want the kids at home to go to sleep. Back to you, EJ. John Wall, he's the man. All right, thanks, C-Webb, and thanks, John Wall, for sticking around with us. Hey, uh, still to come, we got Shaq and a Fool, and we've got uh, this 100-yard dash, uh, the Chariots of Backfire, the most controversial 100 yards since Ben Johnson. Welcome back to Inside the NBA. It's presented by Kia. The gang from CYAO is going to be in the studio next week. What does that mean, Ernie? That means cook your ass off, and they're going to be here. Uh, you can watch it Sundays at 7 o'clock Eastern. But they're going to be in the studio next week cooking our favorite holiday food in a healthy way. They know how to make chillings? <laughs> we <laughs> you should make find out. out you can make chillings after we're going to love them. A uh, Bleacher Report. Check it out. Uh, Get the app. Have it. Uh, <laughs> Have it on your phone, have it on your laptop. Glad I got that out. Oh, have it on your iPad, whatever. Um, man, I, I enjoy this part of the week so much because now. What uh, is he it's laughing like, at? It's like, it, <laughs> it's like ridiculous over there. When I, when I watch games now, I can just picture folks hashtagging Shackton and putting it on Twitter. I so found a couple of plays. Just, I hope they're on there. I, I was oh. trying to call them for a couple of plays. You know, and, I saw two. Yeah, in fact, in fact. They're on there. I got you. In okay. fact, Nick Young said this week after one particular play, <laughs> he knew he was going to be, oh, gotta be on Shackton a fool. And now we'll, we will soon find he's out if he's made it. On it. What? He's not, he's not going to oh. be on it. You disappoint we'll me, big fella. Because I didn't see the play. Anyway, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's roll. What? Let me get that beat. Let's go, Kenny. Shaq and the Fool. What, Kenny? Hey, Shaq and the Fool. See you where? Shaq, Shaq and the Fool. Chuck. Nick Young got to be on this. <laughs> I lied. Nick Young. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This will forever be known as the Swaggy P360. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nick, you are on it. Uh, I lied. That was a 720. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Three. Oh, shut up. I was like, Shaq and the Fool. Yeah, yeah Nick, train. you're on it. Uh, Number two, Patrick Beverly. Oh, Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. I have officially. Oh, you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It might have been three seconds, though. I'll give it to him. We'll try it. Number three, DeAndre Jordan. He's actually just what I thought. I've seen it all. This happened. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you call that a wedgie? <laughs> yeah, you just did. Is that a wedgie? Uh, uh, 
Number four. Nick Young has the lead. Nate so Robinson. While JaVale McGee is out, somebody has to pick up the slack. Oh, that's, that, you know that happens. <laughs> I don't show JaVale, man. Yeah, look, JaVale ain't got on the show, show, man. He ain't got nothing to do with that. Just put JaVale on the show, man. <laughs> Number five, uh, in your face. Lots of dudes got hit in the face this week, so enjoy. Oh, <laughs> Roy Hibbert got a point blank oh, right there. Down I'm, goes Hibbert. I, I guess Down I'm, goes Hibbert. I watched that full game. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, that an ouch pass. A lot of eyes watering this week. Oh! oh my God, <laughs> yo. Bullet. Yeah. Oh! Yo. And Patrick. Thornton's mad at him. Like, how you gonna throw it 100 miles an hour? Oh, oh no, this, this guy's no, on no, the train. No, no, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, he's he's on the train. He's a cameraman. He's a Jerry Sloan. Sloan. That's why yeah. I left. The great yeah. Jerry Sloan. I think, <laughs> <laughs> yo, I think Enos Cannon might need glasses. Look at the camera. Look how mad he be, though. He's dropping camera. Yo, Enos Cannon might need glasses, man. He told him shots, he was some jump shots, he was taking last week. And then on this one, he he might need to uh, uh, man. Seriously. JaVale McGee, oh, come back. Man. Yeah, you need him. Uh, and so, again, if you see something uh, in the course of a game, hashtag Shackton and, uh, and tweet your suggestion. <laughs> tweet out your suggestion. Something wrong with him, man. Any, any canton, man. Something wrong. <laughs> hey, we uh, have a plan to be doing that. <laughs> we encourage you to check out the, <laughs> check out the dot coms. Check out Shaq.com. Oh, man, the diabetes Shaq. soda. Oh, <laughs> the number one soda. I need some, I need some soda, Shaq. Oh, the kid friendly soda. That's, is that the drink that uh, you can get those sodas? Nobody's buying them. Oh. Hit it at JetSmith.com. Oh, with with, new change, with yeah, a yeah, lot of changes coming, right? You got to change your name. We got to change your name officially now. I have some gold. Metal the, be, the best website. ChrisWeber.com. What's new on oh, ChrisWeber.com? Wow. No, can we just tell you, just talking to me, just encouraging people. Run through the tape in yeah, life. That's yeah, all yeah. you got to do it. is run Use through your the hands. tape in pull, life. Pull hamstring Use your hands. Was that pull hamstring? Oh my com? God, that's really cool. Charles that's Barkley. A, great com. Nelson Mandela, man. What a oh, that was, great that's loss. Cool. That's amazing man. I, I'll give it to you. That's the only thing that's nice about that. What about my face? Uh, like I said, needs <laughs> work. When we come back, uh, your weight is over. Uh, the race, the chariots of backfire. Some, some hamstring pulleys up here. Last that's night, okay. I'm the best athlete on both sides. I know. I heard you say that, man. That's right. Right when I said NBA TV, over. TNT. You Stay know we should game. do. We should do battle with the network star. No. So yeah. we should do the run. Yeah. Then we should sure. go to the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ping pong, boxing. Ping pong. Uh, <laughs> get it cold. Let's get it. Let's get it cold. <laughs> Yes, indeed. You've waited all day to see Kayaking, it. Run through the tape shooting, and life. And you're about, you upset you alert. I you are about to watch. Want. I accept. Anything the you race. Want. Next. Except we are ball. the champions. My friend. That's the Catholic here. Inside the NBA. Brought to you by the redesigned Kia Optima. Official vehicle of the NBA. And we welcome you back to Inside, presented by Kia, where it is that time. It's time for EJ's Mino Sad of the Night. Brought to you by Samsung Galaxy. Always nice to have a sponsor for the Nito Stat of the Night. Uh, did you see what Michael Jordan's flu shoes went for? Almost $105,000 at auction. Man, that's, just, that, listen, that's just a damn idiot. <laughs> uh, game, game five of the 97 finals when he went for 38 with the flu. That's that just, that, that just a person who got too much money. And, uh, and so that fact right there. I got right a pair there, of shoes for you, cuz. That <laughs> fact right there just, just got me thinking. If, if those shoes went for that much, how much would the shoes go at auction for the guy who took home that trophy today. It's it's time. 190,000 for the race. Roll it. Ladies and gentlemen, the big event is finally here. The chariots of backfire. <laughs> Before we get started, I have to introduce the Allison Felix, Sonia Richards Ross, two of the fastest young ladies ever to run. Starting this first lane. Shaquille O'Neal, a.k.a. the Big Aristotle, is ready to race. Let's do this. All right? In the next lane, Sir Charles Barkley. Woo-hoo! Wore a buzzer. 
In the next lane, Mr. New York City himself, Kenny the Jet Smith. Matchstick knees, matchstick knees. <laughs> and in the next lane, Mr. Detroit himself, C-Well. Get it going. Get it going and the elder statesman, Elevator Ernie Johnson oh. again. Oh. Any oh. advice you want to give them? Um, well, they say the race is not for the swift, but the one who endures. So just finish the race, gentlemen. If all else fails, high knee, hold on, and die for that line. Is the ambulance still here? We have the ambulance okay, over there. Right, we have Archie okay. over there. Cool. Ernie, any last words, Ernie? Last words is not a good thing to say right now. No, that's fine. <laughs> See where? I'm ready, man. Let's go, man. Yeah. Kenny, you called this event. Any last words from you? I'm racing against time, not against them. What? <laughs> oh. What? Okay. Sir Charles. I just got to beat somebody. <laughs> you have the last word, big fella. <laughs> yeah, hey. Uh, high strength. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Ready, set. Hey, 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 hey. No way. No way. Come on, come on. Quick. No way. <laughs> that was such a false start. <laughs> Oh! 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 You saw that! You saw that! You saw that at the last second! Oh, no way! No! No way! That was such a false start. No way! You saw that! You can't catch me! Well, he got ahead! He got ahead! I knew he was out of shape! That blew his hamstring out. False start! Yes. Ernie. False start. Do it again, then. I know. I, I said ready. No, yeah, no, no. no, no. no. I, I said I, no, I know you did. Uh, but and I'm I just piled. saying, they went Never before you up. piled. You yeah. look at the Never tape. Hey, 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 hey. Do it again. Are you kidding yeah. me? Never, never, no. No way. No way, man. No way. I'm, I'm like the U.S. Olympic team. I'm good. I got jerked. You cannot win doing Superman. You have to run through In life, you got to run through the tape, everybody. You can't never give up. Kenny, come on. I won't participate in the marriage ceremony. I will not participate in this. Me and Doug Collins. I will never take that medal. Oh my! Run through the tape of uh, life, kids. That is not. Never accurate. give up. That is uh, not accurate. No matter how bleak things look, uh, run through the that tape. Is not Keep your yeah. mind is on and run through the tape. That, we did it, baby. Hey, we did it. Real, really, a 13-6? Listen, all that's all not I'm bad. Is this. That's not. I bad can complain right yeah, about. No, I can complain about the false start. I'm not gonna say that, Ernie. I think you did get jerked in the false start. I could complain. No, you said Ernie was a jerk. Bro. Run through the tape. <laughs> hey, hey, I could run complain about. And life, when things get down and don't look great, what's that? Keep your mind straight and run through the tape. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm going to say is, all I'm going to say is, run through the tape in yeah. life, kids. Don't yeah. give up. I can complain. We can complain and say, you were, you were way ahead of me. You start celebrating. You cannot yeah, you. He you was a race. Thank you, man. No, no. You, no, you, no, no, you were unfocused. You in your New York State of mind. You can't look at the tape. Look out. This is funny. Who would you rather be in this race, lady? I promise you. I look over at Kenny and I say, here I come, Kenny. Look right there. And I say, here I go. Watch this. I said, here I go. Watch this. Watch it's this. over. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. It's over. Please rewind. Please rewind up to the 30 yard line. Look, look. That is, oh. No. Yeah, look, look at his feet. Look at his feet. Look, look, look at my foot. Look at my foot. Look at the feet. Look at Look at the feet. But if you rewind to the 30 yard line, if you rewind to the 30 yard line, no. There's a foot. It is not your feet or your hands or your head. What are you it's talking about? If, if you were running to the 30 yard line, going to be there. If they were running to the 30 yard line, you see where hey, Shaq and we got to we got to <laughs> we got to make sure we thank Allison and Sonia for coming in. They yeah. were great. And yeah. all the yeah. folks yeah. at Georgia Tech Georgia for helping Tech. us. And, and, a, you know and a special what? thank you ahead, to the guys at at Davis Middle School, where my daughter Maggie teaches, uh, because they let me use their track for my training on Saturday. And yeah, you see really. all Sorry, the good we lost for y'all. See it, all the good it did for me. I will say yeah. this last thing. And the Georgia Tech. Band. I'm not gonna. I'm not no. gonna be bitter. You know what? 
being the, being the rabbit and being the hare, hey, Shaq. I did celebrate at the t at 20 Watch yards. Watch this, Shaq. I was up 20 yards. Watch this, Shaq. I'm sorry. Celebrate Shaq. I was, wait, look, look at I'm this. talking to you, Kenny. Look, no, look, I'm talking. Watch my Shaq right here. Look, oh, bye Shaq bye. pulled up right there. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Run through the tape. Run through the tape. Run through the tape. Run through the tape. Bye, bye. Run through the tape. All I'm saying is, America, would you rather be the guy laughing as he's running or dying to get it and take? Always be real, never be fake. Oh, my God. If you sit next to somebody to hate, oh, there they are. Run through the tape. Gold. I did it, mama. I put that next to Oh, he's still not. Still I not accepting his silver medal. Right. That's all 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 right. I will never tape. touch that medal. Okay. All, all I'm saying, tape. listen, man, you can't <laughs> grab the tape. And That's illegal. You have to have your torso. Well, we could Even argue this for the next two hours and probably league. will. He's about to come back. Meantime, okay, that's a wrap. I hawked you down. For Inside the NBA, presented by for Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, my goodness. Run through the tape and For Chris Weber, for Kenny Full Smith, stuff. for Never Charles give up. Barkley. Grabbing the tape. And I, it still was like I was up to Greg, oh, thank, thank you, thank you, you Shaq. I appreciate you. A good night from Atlanta. And remember. Run through the tape, everybody, in life. <laughs> Never give up. That, that is not We'll grab the trophy, tape. brother. Run through the tape. Thank you. Matter of fact, let me get my truck. I'm pull my hand. America, who would you rather be? I can't even walk up. A guy with two hamstrings pulled. Or a guy who can still run around. I did it, America. Give me my tape. I can still run. Run through the tape for life. Which guy would you rather be? It doesn't matter. It's over. The race is over. The race is over. I'm still running circles.